so what's going on guys i'm back with another youtube video now in today's video guys um i'm going to be doing the walking dead season 9 trailer this might seem like the same one but the new one came out so i deleted my old video that i published but the thumbnail will be the same everything kind of will be the same except obviously there's more to it so this trailer was a lot longer the other one was only like 25 seconds long so it was like you know what, I don't even want to talk about it, but then I talked about it, and then I realized the new one came out. So the link will be in the description down below for the new one, and they added a part where the older one was in there, so I'm going to talk about the older one too, some scenes from there. And also, if you guys, I know nobody watched that other video yet, so I'm going to be making my own YouTube room, so I'll start recording in my basement where my YouTube room is going to be. And I'll have a nice design in the background rather than just this kind of messy room. Um, and plus, nobody can really distract me. So it'll be really good. It'll be really nice. And I might put, like, a PC down there and a couple of stuff. Maybe in Christmas, I can ask for, like, a gaming computer. And that would be really nice. We can play, like, some PUBG or something like that. But let's talk about the trailer. Let's talk about the one trailer that was put into it first. And I put that theory in the other video. <clears throat> so, at the beginning of the trailer, once again, Negan starts talking to Rick about how, do you think you have all this uh, stuff and key? Like, because Rick does have a lot of people on his back. And if you watch the new trailer, now I realize that Negan is right about that. Does he really have this all in key? Because everybody seems to be like, um, everybody seems to be like mad at each other in the trailer for some reason like even carol is like going to shoot like is about to shoot someone daryl's getting mad at a lot of people so i don't think now that rick and maggie are going to fight i think we're just gonna there's gonna be a lot of people dis who disagree what rick is doing because you you saw in the trailer if you, it'll be in the description i recommend watching that before um you see this video, but a lot of people were trying to get used to what Rick was doing, and I don't know if Rick has this all in his all in his own hands because a lot of people are mad. I think we might get a fight between Rick and Daryl because in the trailer you saw Rick. Uh, um, actually, Daryl he asked Rick, um, "Are you on my side?" And Rick says, "You tell me." So this is really really interesting. Let me talk about the pictures that came in um, before the trailers of, like, Rick, Maggie, Carol, Daryl, and Michonne. Daryl and Michonne kind of look the, basically look the same from Season 8, but Maggie just looks amazing. I mean, she just looks like a beautiful picture, and I think that's going to be really, really good. So Maggie looks way better, like... Like, throughout Season 8 and all those other seasons, everybody kind of looked just crappy. But now they look like um, like a railer world. They look like they're all clean and stuff. And Rick's probably the most changed um, from it. Like, his hair is cut, which I really like that because it kind of looked crappy with the long hair. But, you know, I guess it fits along with the Walking Dead thing. But everybody just looks a lot newer. Same with Carol. She looked a little different, too, but... Daryl and Michonne didn't, they just kind of looked the same. And then there is that thing in the episode, in the shorter trailer, which won't be in the description because it's in the other trailer, but there was a bunch of signs on this tree and Rick walked past it. There was like HQ, Sanctuary, um, like, no, Hilltop actually was it. And then um, Toledo. So, I have a theory on what Toledo might be. It might just be a new name for the kingdom because, like, we didn't see much of the kingdom in this. So, maybe Rick is changing this name or something like that. Because, like, Ezekiel is a lot sadder after losing the tiger. So, I think he feels like he doesn't have much control anymore now that he lost his tiger. Because he had a big change after Shiva died in Season 8. So... Maybe they did something, maybe they didn't, but I have a theory on that Toledo thing. People have been looking up what Toledo might be, and if you do look it up, it's like someplace in Ohio. So what if they went traveling all the way to Ohio? And also, in the picture that was in my thumbnail, if you didn't see, it was either like Capitol Hill or Washington, D.C. that was behind them in the picture. 
So what if they're going to go there? Which this very well could be true because they are close somewhere to um, Washington, D.C. They're in Virginia right now because if you look at some of the license plates on the car, like on the cars when they're traveling, it says like Virginia and stuff on it. So they, they could, they've, they could possibly be going to Washington, D.C., and I think that would be really great. But I can't tell you what they might find in Washington, D.C. Um, maybe they'll, like, make it as one of their places, and I think that would be really interesting, seeing some Washington, D.C. shots or whatever that building was in the background. It looked like Washington, D.C., so I'm thinking it is. And um, the helicopter in the background, um, people might ask what that is. Well, you see... There's been three different uh, scenes from that. It was in the picture. It was in uh, the trailer. Like Jade, like the thing was flying. And it was in a scene in season eight. So the, I think this uh, helicopter is actually theirs. And they might use it for some kind of transportation or something like that. So I don't think, that, now that I think about it, I don't think there's much to say about this helicopter anymore. I used to think it would be some like something really, really awesome. Like maybe if someone's going to save him or something. But now that I think about it, I think it's just their kind of helicopter or something like that. And a lot of people were really excited about the Whispers theory. And now I've never talked about this because I don't know a lot about the Whispers. But it does sound interesting what they're doing. And the Whispers are the people who believe in... Um, the dead or something like that they believe in overcoming the dead or something like that i don't know a whole lot about whispers so if you know anything about that put it in the comment section down below okay so a lot of people are really excited for that and it's just like in the comics like i watched this guy on youtube movie idol go subscribe to him he's a big youtuber and um it's like he showed a picture of in the comics and it like in the trailer when you see the whispers hiding from the zombies like they put mud on themselves so it's pretty smart um it's just like the comics because there was a scene in the comics where the whispers are like hiding from the walkers and stuff like that so i think that's really cool and it's really cool to see how some of these characters are changing in season nine and it doesn't seem like a big jump either like it's got to be at least a couple of months after the whole ending of season eight so maybe maybe a couple months maybe years like maybe two years or something like that and then you see so a lot of, before i talk about this other thing but a lot of people have been changing, and I'm really excited to see these new character profiles because it's just really, really awesome. And then you see a scene of older Judith, which I think is cool, too, because Judith, like, she grows so slowly. Like, in season eight, she looked like four years old. Now she's looking like six years old. So I can't, like, I can't think of how long The Walking Dead has been going. I feel like The Walking Dead has... At the most by now, five years, like at the least, it's got to be like five years now. Um, a lot of people just think think that it feels like two years, but it really isn't. It's like, because if you think about the timeline, season one, season two, um, season one, season two, and season three. So if you think about season one, season one was only like a couple of months maybe like six months um, or something different from that. It was only like a couple months. Season two um, had to be like another six months. So right now we're at like a year from season one and season two. Season three, um, I'd say like eight months. So like a year and eight months by now. Season four was actually quite long. I think season four, I think, is like a whole year. So about two years and eight months by by the end of season four. Because if you saw in season four, the, sec the whole second half was them going to that sanctuary. And they were like, like Rick had a full beard. So you got to think about how long that could have took. And same with season five. So I think season five is another year. So by now, three years and like eight months. And then season six... There's got to be another 10 months. Um, so, like, uh, about a year and, th like, 
four years and three months, and then season seven and season eight have to be together about a year and a half. So by now, they're at like five years and a half. So I think that does make sense that Judith is older now. So if you really dig into the details of what they're doing, you can kind of figure out what it is. Also, another thing is, is Rick actually going to leave The Walking Dead? A lot of things have been talking about Robert Kirkman confirmed that Rick is now leaving The Walking Dead, but I just don't think he is going to leave because, like, it just doesn't make sense that the main character would leave the show because for most shows, if the main character leaves, it just takes the whole thing down, which Rick isn't that popular a character. Not a lot, whole lot of people love Rick because he's just the main character. You know, a lot of people like Daryl and stuff like that. Um, seeing him as the main character, but Rick actually is the main character, and I don't think a lot of people like it, and I think Rick is just, like, Andrew Lincoln himself is just ready to retire, he feels like he's just had a long time, which I respect that, because, you know, some people get tired of acting sometimes, but I hope he doesn't leave, and I think he won't leave, um, there's been a lot of confirmations, but, um, some theorists think that he isn't gonna leave, I don't think he's gonna leave, but if he does, you know, I get that. You know, a lot of people want to retire after now. By now, it's been like eight years of acting since 2010. Probably longer than that because they, a year before they take, put in the season, that's probably when they're doing it. So, yeah, I get that Rick would be leaving. I just don't want him to leave. But I think in season eight, there's going to be a lot of problems with Rick taking over all of these places because there's a lot of places that he has to handle like think about it he's got to take out the the satellite place hilltop right now they're working on alexandria all that stuff like that but they seem to be working well like they seem to be building up places and now i think hilltop is going to be the main place where they're going to it's basically been be like the headquarters you know stuff like that and then you saw a scene where gregory and maggie were like fighting or something so maybe Gregory will die because if you watch the shorter trailer, um, Michonne was talking to Maggie where like we should start making decisions on this is how we treat each other and this is what happens if we don't. And I think I get that now. I get that a lot after watching the trailer because everybody's just so mad at each other. And I think Rick might not have all this down. Like everybody's just super mad at each other. But now that I think about it, I think we're going to have some kind of conflict with between Rick and Daryl and a lot of other people because you if you watch the trailer, you would see. And so what is this Toledo place too? And tell me anything about the whispers that you know. So the link will be in the description for the trailer of season nine. It came out like an hour ago from now. So everything will be the same about this video. I deleted the other video because it was just like, right before the trailer came out, because I was talking about the shorter trailer, and I didn't know a lot about it, but I think I'm really excited for season nine, especially what the characters are going to do, because these characters are changing, and I'm curious of what Negan's going to do. You saw kind of that Negan, and he looked more like the comics. Everybody's, like, really looking really, really good in season nine. Like, they look way better than season eight, because you're so used to them looking like that Walking Dead profile, but now they just look like a normal person, like beautiful. I think that's going to be really critical. So what do you guys think about season eight? Um, if you have anything about, say about the whispers, cause I don't know a whole lot about them. So put that in the comment section. I'm really excited for my YouTube room. Maybe in a couple days or a week, I'll record down there. It's not going to take that long to make it, but I just finished all the cleaning today and I did it with my grandpa. So it was a lot of work to clean it out. And tomorrow we're going to like put up the walling, like this design it with like, we're not going to use like paddings. We're just going to put like blankets and stuff like that. So it'll look kind of cool in the background. Um, so what do you guys think about season nine? Um, I haven't made a lot of, a whole lot of walking dead theories. So this is why I decided to make this. So like, and subscribe guys, comment, you know, what, guys, guys, I like comments. Um, so I'll see you next time.